Hello, if you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Yuki, and if you are a returning subscriber or a lurker, Welcome back. I did this makeup look several weeks back and posted up photos on Instagram and so many of you loved it. Some of you did mention that you wanted a makeup tutorial on the eyes, so I'm putting it up now. I know we're a little late getting it up, but that's okay. We're just not gonna talk about that. This look is featuring the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Requiem. I did do a mini review slash swash, swash, swatch. So please go ahead and check that out. Also, do not forget to follow me on social media, Instagram, Snapchat, and I did add a new Facebook like page. So go ahead and check that out as well. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell to get notifications. So every time I post up a new video, you'll be the very first to know. And we are gonna be right here, okay? And if you would like to see how I achieved this eye look, Please keep on watching. Per usual for my base, I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cool Tan and I set it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Going into the Morphe 35V palette, I'm using the LePage Trends Blending Brush. I'm taking that orange shade and concentrating it to the outer V of the eye and blending it inwards. With the MAC 224, we're going to blend away any harsh lines. Now it's the same principle for the next two brown shades, however, they're being placed a little lower to create a gradient effect. All other colors are from the Morphe 35B palette. This palette is very affordable, however, the fallout is ridiculous. And I'm packing on that mustard yellow color. I did dampen the brush a little bit to help get the color to pick up better. The Sigma E30 pencil brush did a good job of picking up the shimmery yellow color. Now that I think about it, the first time I did this look, I wet the pencil brush a little bit to help the color show up more. I'm going back and forth and layering both of the yellows on top of each other to help them show up. Now if you're recreating this look, you might benefit from cutting your crease with a concealer. That way the colors may show up a little better. As my base, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to the waterline. Taking a Sigma Waterline Liner Brush, I'm layering a blue and green eyeshadow on top of one another to get the color I want. As far as I know, I'm the only person who does this. I do not condone anyone doing this, especially if you don't know what you're doing. I would actually suggest just getting an eye pencil in whatever color you want and using that to your waterline instead. You definitely do not want to use shimmer eyeshadows for this. To line my eyes, I'm using the Sigma Line Ace, which is the darkest liquid liner I've seen to date. For the brow bone, I'm taking this shimmer color from the palette and the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. For lashes, I'm using the Le Pace Trend Sapphire Lashes. I've done the rest of the look off camera. As you can see here, glowing, beaming. You can leave your lips completely bare or add a gloss to it. You could also add your favorite nude lipstick on top. But what I'm gonna do is actually take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Requiem Liquid Lipstick. You guys have seen this already if you are a loyal subby and a watcher of my channel. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just gonna take that just to finish off everything because it matches with the Ankara, it matches with the eyes, so I might as well. And that is it for this look. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video, Lord willing. Stay blessed, bye.